friends, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. I'm Kelly and it is the time that you all have been waiting for where I share how much our Alaskan cruise costs. Oh man, it was a doozy, but honestly we were a little bit under budget, so that's good. But I've gotten so many requests of how much does Alaskan cruise cost? How much does it cost to go to Alaska? What's different about this cruise compared to like a Caribbean cruise? Is it more expensive? The answer is yes, it is more expensive, quite a bit more expensive, but it is totally worth it. So I'm going to be sharing line by line of how much our cruise costs, all the different charges, everything, because you know me, I recorded everything. Jamie was a little annoyed at sometimes like, seriously, why do we have to save the receipt? We pay cash, we have it, why, why are you doing that? Because I have to share with everyone. I need them. I need the receipts, guys. So I'm going to be sharing everything with you. I do want to say that I do have this budget template on Etsy for you guys. I have a vacation budget template, which is so much fun. I also have a monthly budget, a annual budget, and a wedding budget. <laughs> That's the last one. So four templates right now on my Etsy shop. So go check those out. If you want, you can also convert them to Google Sheets, which if you do that on vacation, then you can do it right from your phone, which is really cool. I probably should have done that. So if you want, you can convert to Google Sheets. Super easy to do and it'll all be linked down below. So let's get to Excel. All right, guys, we are here in Excel and I have my screen next to me, but I'm going to be trying looking at you guys as much as possible. But if I'm going back and forth, that's why. But I wanted you to be able to see me as I do this. So here is my vacation budget. As you guys know, I have this on my Etsy shop and it is ready for you guys to download. So I will have a link to that down below as well as my other budget templates as well will be down below. So vacation budget destination is Alaska cruise in Seattle. Dates were 815 to 824. So budgeted, we had $8,000 budgeted for this trip and we were actually under budget. We only spent $6,751.83. So we were about $1,250 under budget, which is awesome. Then here we have some different columns here. So we have the category column, what happened. The budgeted amount is in this column right here under C. The actual column is right here under D. And then the over under is in E column. So first up was airfare so we did not have to pay for our flights or anything like that that was all covered through our mileage um, uber lime and lyft these you can see down here in this category this was actually a lot higher than i expected it to be i've never i don't take uber or lyft and so i didn't realize how expensive it was but most times that we went everywhere it was like 40 50 dollars which was crazy to me but it is what it is so we took some uh, lifts, ride to the port, um, a lime car. Have you guys ever done the lime car? They're really cool. You've seen the scooters going around, but the lime car, it is, you just like pull up, you span, scan the QR code and you say that you want to take that one. It unlocks from the app and then you can drive it around. You can pause it and go back to it. It's really cool. But that was $45. That was on our last day in Seattle. We were just exhausted and it would have been faster if we walked because it was rush hour traffic at Seattle at five o'clock on a Friday. But it was so fun. And then Uber and Lyft. So total was $283.15. And we were $33 over budget for that one. Lodging. So the cruise itself cost $3,632.80. That is just for the lodging, the meals, um, all of that stuff is, is just the cruise. Was $3,600, which is a little bit more expensive than the typical Caribbean cruise. We have taken a few out of the Caribbean because we live in South Florida. It's just so easy to drive down to the port. So this one is a little bit more expensive. Insurance, we paid $147 for travel insurance just because it is such an expensive cruise. We wanted to make sure we were good to go. Tips, this includes our own personal tips as well as the ones that they tack on automatically. They automatically do 18% gratuity for both parties and that is calculated per day. So this was that plus any extra tips that we gave. We gave our room guy an extra tip and then also we didn't do our waiter because it was a different person because they had the my time dining which sucked. 
and then um, we gave one of the, the tour guys, he was really good and funny, and so we gave him a tip as well. So 273 total. Hotel in Seattle, we did not have to pay for a hotel on either end. We ended up getting a hotel the night before we left and then also the day we got back just to make sure everything worked out logistically. And so that was all covered by our points, but we really wish we didn't get one on the way back. We were so exhausted. We were ready to be home. It was such a long trip. So we actually looked into canceling our hotel and changing our flights and it was like a thousand dollars to change our flights and we were like no that's not worth it so we still had fun but that's okay um miscellaneous sky club jamie has delta sky club and we paid 30 dollars, 29 dollars for me to get in for the day because we were there for like four or five hours because we had to check out of our routine our room early and we just decided to hang on the sky club which worked out well because i was able to work on youtube so total for lodging was $4,081.80. Next up is food and drink. So restaurant meals, this is, um, you can see here, this is like airport food, food that we had outside of the ship food. So this, um, was this included in that? Mm, soda and chips. Yeah, this was outside of it. There was one that we did. Oh yeah, food on ship is separate. Okay, so this is all of our food outside. So anytime we went to port, um, our food in Alaska, our food in the airport, all of that. So that totaled up to 367.54. And I went to Smashburger for the first time. I've never been to Smashburger and it was really salty, but I think that was just, they just oversalted it. I think I just got a bad one. Um, so 367.54 food on ship we only had to pay for one meal on ship or we didn't have to it was a fish and chips place and for I got I think just chicken tenders and Jamie got fish and chips and so it was 354 for both meals so it was almost free but a couple dollars Soda package, so Jamie and I both got the soda package. It was $165.04. We decided not to get the alcohol package. Jamie did have a Jack and Coke every night, which you guys will see, but it just wasn't worth it. So Jamie did spend $115.63 on alcohol, uh, which brings it to a total of food and drink for $651.75. All right, next up is entertainment. So dog sled helicopter. This was one excursion I was really, really looking forward to and I was so bummed that it got canceled. It sucks. So this was one where you took a helicopter. This was in Juneau. You took a helicopter up and then you went dog sledding to a glacier or over to a glacier and then went dog sledding on the glacier. It was gonna be so cool. And it got canceled because of the weather. Mwah, mwah. So we got refunded $1,200 for that. And then we ended up taking the next day, we were in Skagway, so we did the White Pass Railroad, which is the Gold Rush Railroad. We did that, and then we ended up going dog sledding on a mushers camp. So that was 358 for the dog sledding on the mushers camp. So obviously it was a lot cheaper, but it was a lot less of an excursion. It was funny because they have a TV channel on the ship where you're, it's just on loop of all the excursions. And they were playing that one. And honestly, while I was watching it, I was like, that one sucks. Like who would want to do it? Gravel, dog sledding. Well, we ended up, that's karma for you. Um, Castle and Garden, this was okay. It was a it was a cool excursion, I guess. 245.98, I don't think it was worth the money. Um, North Star, so this was on the Ovation of the Sea. It has this arm that goes up and then you can, swings on each side of the boat and you can see um, way high up. So we paid $98 to do that. We programmed it so we had it right when we were at the glacier and spinning, which was cool. Um, Space Needle, this was in Seattle, $123.90. Internet, this was internet for on the ship. Totally worth it, $146.93. Souvenir and gifts, this was $191.65. And we like to get an ornament wherever we go. So we did get um, a few of that. We got a hat for, um, a shirt and hat for Jamie's dad, a couple ornaments, um, a shirt for Jamie, an ornament, an ornament. So that was 6609. 
then let's see where we are so total was 191.65 clothing for the trip we did have to buy a bunch of clothes for seattle so we put that or not for seattle for alaska so we put it all in here and that was the day before we left so it was 248.69 for a total of this category entertainment category of 1735 dollars and 13 cents so total out was $6,751.83. And like we said, we were $1,248 under budget. So that was awesome. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. So much fun to go over everything with you guys. And I love me some Excel. I love it, love it, love it. So Alaska was amazing. As you guys saw, we enjoyed it so much. I am going to be putting together a full vlog of everything that we did and the dog sledding and all the different things. And so stay tuned for that. And also one of Seattle. I just have to edit them. I haven't done that yet. So stay tuned for that. It will be coming. And next up is what to pack for Alaska. It is a full packing list video. And then I also have a blog post about it. So watch next what to pack for an Alaskan cruise.